rid of that. Hi, hi, I'm, I'm Emma Miller. Yes, soon to be human. Woo, I'm engaged, engaged to be married, yes. I know I look 12, but I'm actually, yeah, uh, actually 32. So I am legal twice. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm... <laughs> You know when you bite into a really ripe orange and the sticky goodness just drips down your chin? He's like that. He's that gorgeous. I love him. I love him. And he's, he's got a body. He's got a body like a runner bean. <laughs> and he's really tall. He's really tall. Six foot four. See right up his nose. And he's dead posh. I know. <laughs> I'm a bit of a... had a more different upbringing if we tried. He had a very privileged uh, childhood in Cambridge where his uh, school uniform was a cravat and a cigar. Whereas, uh, I, I had more of your kind of bog standard, you know, normal Peter Borean household, you know, uh, single parent family, yeah, living under the poverty line, regular sex with my uncle. <laughs> I wish. You always said no. Yeah. <laughs> but when I was younger, I honestly, I truly, I didn't believe that we were, we were poor. I didn't realise it. You know, my mum, she's really well spoken and uh, she used to tell us that we were being environmentally friendly and that's why we didn't have a car or a telly. That's why we shared uh, sanitary towels. <laughs> Smelly. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my sister, we'd get so excited, so excited when she would come home with new clothes in a bin bag. Yes. And we would uh, fight over the treasures that lay inside, you know, like the uh, washed out grey bra that's four sizes too big for us. I remember when I was about 13, I was absolutely desperate to go to the cinema with my mates. So I asked my mum to have some money. And she said, darling, Bean, darling Emma. You see, I was Bean and my sister was Sausage. Darling, Bean, I'm sorry, but we don't have enough money. And besides, this weekend I thought we could go tree hugging. <laughs> tree hugging? I don't want to go tree hugging. I want to go to the cinema with my mates. I want to sit on the back row with Adam Newman, whose pussy spots and bad breath are more appealing than hugging a tree that some dog has pissed up. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Darling Emma, I'm sorry. Oh, but please, please, Mum, please, please. I'm sure we've all done a bit of constipated begging in our time. <laughs> I think we need to ground ourselves. I think we need to open our chakras and live in the moment. Yeah, she was a spiritual healer. Can't get worse, can it? Yeah, she worked for the divine. She worked with energies, not British gas, no. <laughs> It was quite cool, actually, because when I was younger, I knew that I could get a day off school if I told her that I had conjunctivitis in my third eye. <laughs> please, Mum, please, please, can I go to the cinema? Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Take in your feminine power and release it through your vagina. <laughs> Gross, I just want to go to the cinema. Come on, please. My mum, honestly, she used to talk about her vagina all the time. We had a group of women round once who sat in a circle with hand mirrors, crying whilst looking at their own badges. <laughs> I have seen my mum's vagina that many times that I don't even need to look at my own. <laughs> Seriously, I know, I know that it is grey and fluffy down there. <laughs> I know that my Libya is hanging out. 
and I know that it is coated in a white, crusty discharge. I can't even look at a jacket potato and cottage cheese. Now you're probably wondering where my dad was where all this child abuse was going on. Well, I actually, I met him for the first time when I was 25. I thought, I'm going to find out who this man is. I'm going to track him down. <laughs> it took me two years, two long years, to ask my mum for his phone number. And I thought, I'm going to ring him. I'm going to ring him. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? What, he doesn't remember me? He's dead. Or worst of all, he's got no money. <laughs> hi, um, hi, can I speak to John, please? Yeah, um, it's Emma, um, his daughter. Every single second felt like a minute. Every minute felt like an hour. Almost as nerve wracking as standing up here right now. <laughs> Darling Emma Bean! Oh my god, if he talks about vaginas, I mean it, I'll kill myself. <laughs> we actually met. <laughs> you got a vagina too. <laughs> <laughs> we met, we went out for dinner. And it's so bizarre, you know, when you're sat opposite someone that you don't know, but that you should know, and, and they've got the same eyes as you. And you're like, whoa, that's my nose. Great. That's where I get my hairy chest from. <laughs> it was the first and the last time that we met because uh, sadly, um, yay, uh, we got stopped by the police on the way home and he got arrested for drunk driving. Go, Daddy, yes! <laughs> but I tell you what, though, I have never run home so fast to my mum's open, warm, slightly dry, vagina. <laughs> Penny dropped. OK. Just before I go, I do want to reassure you all that I now have a very healthy, balanced relationship with my hunk. Yes, I'm getting married. <laughs> so excited. I'm as happy as a woman without cellulitis. <laughs> We, uh, we have a, a really good exchange. He, um, he lets me cry myself to sleep at night and, and I wear his schoolboy cravat and take it up the arse. Yes! <laughs>